Hi, I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back if you are a regular visitor here. And if you are new, welcome to you. And I'd love it if you could subscribe. So today, the 22nd of January, I'm bringing you one of my short heads up videos. And the subject for today actually is a has two major parts to it because there are two significant aspects today. One is about our wonderful planet Uranus, the planet of the unexpected, of rebellion, of invention, of thinking outside the box. Uranus in Taurus has been retrograde for some time and today finally stations direct. This means he slowed down to a virtual stop, although remember it's an optical illusion from our perspective on planet Earth, because actually they never go backwards, but it just looks like it from our perspective. But what we're gonna see now is Uranus stationary for a while, and then it's like it revs up its engines and it will start to proceed forwards through the sign of Taurus. This means that because we've also had both Mars and Mercury that were retrograde going direct just a week or so ago, that we now have every single planet in the cosmos, that's the ones around our planet, going direct. So we are going to feel a speeding up of energies. This really is going to be super helpful. If things have been stuck, marking time, just can't budge things, or your own thinking has got kind of like locked, blocked, you can't see the way forward, the energies are shifting significantly. So you will notice a kind of a, a lightness coming and uh, a sense perhaps even of optimism and hope with this energy. So Let's also see what's going on because Uranus going direct is also, as it starts to go direct, squaring the moon today. And that's moon, that moon is in Aquarius. And that's quite interesting because that moon is going to come up and be conjunct both Saturn and Venus, who are also conjunct at the moment. But I'm coming to them in a minute. So there's a sense that Anything that has been delayed to do with the community at large, the world in general, we will see unexpected shifts, changes. Some of them might not be that good, or at least on the surface might not seem that good. But just we have to trust, we have to have faith that the cosmos knows what it's doing. The other interesting energy is that Mercury, of course, still in Capricorn, but newly direct now and still in its shadow, but Uranus is making a trine aspect. So that's helpful to Mercury in Capricorn. So for instance, with this, this, there's been a situation in the United Kingdom where there's been a lot of various sectors of, of, of public service who have been striking. So there's been this kind of sense of um, just deadlock. Now, Uranus moving direct and trining um, Mercury, I think shows that there will be constructive, deliberate talks which will break through any deadlocks. So that will come beyond this weekend, the 21st, 22nd. That's my strong feeling. And Mars, which of course is also newly direct from its retrograde phase in the sign of Gemini, is also making a really helpful trine aspect to the sun, <coughs> excuse me, in Pluto, uh, sorry, in Pluto, to the sun in Aquarius. I can see Pluto there as well, because the sun is also still widely conjunct Pluto. There's so much really interesting energy at the moment. There's a lot, there's a, there's a whole feeling with this energy this weekend and like moving into the next week or so of big change, of um, breakthroughs, of just kind of transformation and, and, and a sort of sense of 
wow, I didn't see that coming, or how is this now unfolding? This is amazing. And so it is positive. So we have got still Jupiter, our planet of expansion, and sometimes too much expansion, squaring Mercury. So I think we've got to be careful that we don't get carried away with what looks like breaking through and seeing things more clearly, whether that's on the world stage or on a personal level. We need to ground ourselves. Mercury is in Capricorn. Use that Mercury in Capricorn to ground yourself, to keep yourself firmly rooted on the earth, to see more clearly how things can start to unfold. So let's now have a look at this Venus conjunct Saturn, because this really is super important energy. Venus, our planet of love, relationship, money and value, conjunct in Aquarius Saturn, my big boy Saturn, my planet of boundaries, of containment, of rules and also of timing. So if we just take a step back and look at all of this energy in its kind of totality, Uranus goes direct, Uranus trining Mercury, the moon is squaring Uranus and the sun is trining Mars and we have Jupiter squaring Mercury. Let me unpack this. How I see this playing out is that common sense will prevail. I think Venus and Saturn conjunct are going to see some um, kind of grounding and structure to what is going on economically. Because remember also Uranus is in the part of the chart Taurus, which is to do with finance and economy. And uh, we, we might see some breakthroughs or changes with regard to the economy. And we might see some restrictions being put on how much is made available to spend. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm thinking actually that with regard to the sort of sectors that have been striking, I think they will get some of their needs met, but they won't go all the way. And it's just that basically, I think, because the piggy bank is empty and you can't just create money out of nothing. But in all, this energy today is super exciting and super interesting. I think that we're going to see a shift, as I say, economically. I think this is going to be a year where we just get a feeling of, we can just take our foot off the gas a bit, so that even though a lot of us in various parts of the country have had to face raising real raised costs of inflation and rising costs and difficulties with sort of paying for fuel, heating, all those kind of areas, that actually that's just going to ease off a bit. I really do feel it's just going to get a bit easier. We might actually be helped on the planet in general by perhaps kinder weather conditions so that we don't have to draw on the resources of sort of artificial heating and light, etc., to cope with difficult days. So it is an interesting time. I'd like to just um, also say that this Saturn um, Venus is also in some ways about, it can be about relationship and a certain amount of kind of putting down roots or commitment in relationships. So depending where it falls in your particular zodiac chart, uh, it could be for you something to do with relationships and making a firm commitment. And if that is what's happening, <clears throat> excuse me, the energy is really supportive of that. So what with the new moon yesterday and this energy today, the new moon supports it 99.9%. So on that note, thank you so much for coming to join me for this short heads up video. And please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.